And welcome back to Shogun 2, Fall of the Samurai, with the scramble for the Far East mod. We were teasing it a little bit before, the Americans are about to fall into our ambush. So let's go ahead and click for the unturn and see if they'll fall for my ruse. Interesting. Interesting in a bad way. The American army marches through and is not caught by any of my general except the last one. Um, so that's quite interesting. We'll have our entire force coming in as reinforcements. Which means that the ambush isn't so much as an, oh, an ambush. What I could hope to do is possibly send my cavalry in and kill off their cannons really quickly at the start. Anyways, I, I, was also, I was also hoping to get both their armies into the ambush. But looks like that's not going to be the case. Anyways, forward we go. Into battle. Imagine this. Imagine this if I had my full army ready to lay to bear on the enemy. They're stuck in this tiny little square. I could surround them completely and annihilate them within seconds. In this case, what we're going to do is we're going to move the general to safety. He's going to move with the rest of the army. The cavalry is going to be stationed here and... We'll see what we can go for. Today, sir, we attack. Right, there's the cannons. We'll charge for the guns immediately. We get fired upon. But my cavalry is able to strike at the cannons. They are caught by the enemy cavalry though. And they're broken. And they make their way off the field. Right. At least I can say that we took out quite a bit of their artillery. And now my force joins the field. The interesting here, of course, is now we got a an, an enemy force that is actual, actually comparable to my own in terms of its strength and weaknesses. So we got these guys marching up. I'm gonna send them four towards the flank. And then yet another four towards this flank. And then we got these two they will be in reserve somewhere around here. We have a small cavalry unit. We've got the generals. The Americans are getting into position rather quickly. So, you know what? Let's order everyone to run. Like the Americans have set up their artillery. I want to set up mine. They haven't unlimbered their cannons though. We have a small cavalry unit, but it feels like that's gonna kinda be wasted. I'm gonna send them all, all the way over there. We wanna hit the American lines. Look at how thick they've made their lines. Perfect targets. They've made kind of a small formation. Oh, okay, they're pulling back now. I wanna get my cannons out there firing at this uh, as soon as possible. And if they're going to deploy in this kind of fashion, we're going to absolutely win because we've got... We're going to be able to lay more guns on them than they are on us. If they're going to decide to deploy in such a fashion. They keep drawing back or away from us. Which makes sense. The further out to the side... I can put my cannons. The the longer I will be able to uh, continue to fire on the American force before uh, the sides of the army kind of overlap each other. 
Right, we're gonna start moving these forward with the main line moving forward and the side moving forward looks like the Americans are actually moving forward as well right the cannons are about to come into place I want to get shooting as soon as possible we also have this naval support thing about the naval support is I feel as though their AI is clever enough that they will move away from naval support. So I'm not sure it's going to be super effective unless I order it at a time where we've actually locked them in combat. We're going to put a general per each side to support this. The center is going to be uh, supported by an extra three units in reserve. Cannons are in place. I'll move them a little bit further forward as I feel like, like the cannon train is going to get tangled up here and cause problems. Oh! They are attacking my cannons. The small unit though is kind of breaking just by the uh, just by joining in here. Now unfortunately with this means that I cannot kind of clever by the AI here. Right. My troops are getting into position. The cannons are set up. We should be able to start firing. Let's uh, fire on their cannons. I want to get off a few shots. Okay, we're firing in. We're not really hitting anything. Cavalry is kind of moving this way. Looks nasty when the Americans, their artillery hits us. I'd say the key will be to lock the Americans in place with the um, the front-facing force. and then have the flanks swoop in. What I want to do is I want to get these two on around this side. The way this is set up is uh, you guys gotta move a little bit closer. Same with you. Alright, we're closing in. Let's see if we can't get these guys around. I think some of their units are going to march into our range of fire soon enough. This is a tempting target when they're now disorganized like that. Let's push forward into the fight now. Those units started already firing. Sir, your general is under attack. And let's have the three reserve units. Right, the troops are in position to lay fire upon the enemy. Ooh, the enemy fires canister on us. The Americans are getting fired upon. They're lining up here. I'm going to order in the bombardment right there. Units lining up, firing. The thing is, most of the fire is now being done by this these units. This part of the line needs to come up and you need to move to surround the enemy. 
The main general needs to move up, or well, the two generals need to move up to support the uh, the troops here. Oh, we had the naval bombardment come in. It seemed to have missed most of their uh, their units. Oh shit, what's going on over here? This was completely missed. An American unit made it out somehow. Can I turn and fire a canister towards there? <laughs> I, I shot the cannon right next to it. The American unit's actually eating up our... Uh, our infantry unit. That one infantry unit was absolutely destroyed. It was basically at full strength. Now it, it only has about 56 men left. Shh, what a mistake. What an absolute mistake. Alright, what's going on here then? Here it's going a little bit better for us, I'd say. We are able to push quite a bit of fire into the Americans where they're not really able to respond in kind. Alright, yeah, now you need to come in here. And let's upset him a little bit by setting this cavalry around there. Cannons, there's no point in them firing and it doesn't look like the Americans are doing much damage. I'm gonna send these around and we're going to envelop the Americans even further. We've got Americans, Amer shattered American units making their way out here. Good, good. Slowly but surely, the American units, even the famed Montgomery Guard, is slowly being whittled down. Tons and tons of casualties mounting death tolls on the American side. Probably should have told these guys to run, shouldn't I? So they actually get into position in time. We'll have the cavalry units chase down. Retreating American units. Looks like they're all about to give way soon. Yep, there they all they all went. I'm gonna order everyone forward. We're going to continue the battle and we're going to get rid of all of these. Let's just make sure that they haven't placed any spikes or anything. Even though I didn't get to use the ambush in the way I wanted, we still definitely got kind of the ambush going because, uh, well, the American force was completely unprepared and got annihilated.
Here's the result of that battle. Um, even with the fact that we had the upper hand, we still lost a thousand men, though. Um, unfortunately, though, for the Americans, their force was completely annihilated, with only 185 making it away. Highest kills goes to Colonial Infantry. Uh, maybe I should name some of these, just so we know which one it is, like Colonial Infantry 1. Although I feel like we're gonna go through quite a lot of these since you can recruit quite a lot of them. It makes more sense that for the troops that have limits on them, like normal line infantry and stuff, I could name them first infantry and so on. The Marines! I believe we have two of those. Shouldn't have two of those, unless I maybe I lost one. Um, those could be na I could definitely name those first and second Marines. But yeah, it looks like uh, second Marines didn't take part in the battle at all. Because they were in the reserves, right? Right, we've got a peace offer from the Kakagawa. I'm not even sure I know who the Kakagawa are. Because my ally is Kan Kanzawa. So Kakegawa, uh, similar, I don't know, but they'll accept peace and they'll accept becoming a vassal. Why not? Oh, trade, we'll add trade to that as well. Wonderful. Nice. Ralph managed to get a uh, increase in rank. First things first, I'm more interested to know who I added to my vassal ship. Because this is Kanzagawa. Not sure they will live very long. So where is my second vassal? <laughs> where is this vassal that I've added? Where are they? Okay, so here's... There we go! These guys! I've added them as... They're on the other... What? Why have I added them as a va Why did they... They were at war with me. Oh, they've got... Um, Parry. Commander Parry coming out there. The Americans are really throwing everything. I... It, Slopper Jack. He... The... He, God. The Amer... That's very American, isn't it? Slopper... Jack Slopper. Sloppy Jack. Is coming out there. Um... Anyways, we'll have a short-lived vassal over here. The thing about it, I've, I'm never able to force anyone to become a vassal in Napoleon or Empire or anything in here. And here I've been able to, without even planning to do it, I've been able to get two of them. Why is it always like this? Anyways, the Obamas are back at it. This time they brought... More artillery, thinking that that will work. Um, and it might. However, I'm hoping to gain troops here soon enough. As soon as I deal with the 2nd American Army. Now, I feel like the 2nd American Army is probably a little bit more dangerous because it's more cavalry. And what did the most damage to us in the last fight was, I feel... Probably American cavalry that did the most of it. Uh, we also have these bastards, the Koga. I don't even know what they're what they're thinking. Okay, so there's quite there's actually a little bit of a build up of Northern Alliance troops, but it's all shit to be honest. And we should make our way there as soon as possible. I feel like. What we'll, what we'll do is the three generals I have. Now, not everyone can af get an army. But we can outfit a lot of them. And I feel like we want to protect the town from ha coming under siege. It could be that I station one permanently. Not permanently, but for a while, at least at the bridge. With a smaller force. Enough, at least, to destroy anyone that tries to cross over. A little bit disconcerting is that I've seen more of these Dutch Doctrine Line Infantry turning up. 
Um, the more of that we see, the worse it gets. Also, it's coming to winter, so... Campaigning season is coming to an end. Which hopefully will give me time to reorganize in a proper way. Unlike we did last yes, time. Anyways... Yes, I think everyone will be able to aid in this fight right here that we're going to have. Maybe I should actually take a look at the guy that just gained three stars. See what he adds. He doesn't add anything special right now. We're going to add to logistics. So that adds to replenishment rate. That brings it up to 5%. Which is good. Because that is what I'm adding, right? Uh, let's go ahead and take Ready a look. Because that is what it's adding, right? It's not campaign. It's campaign movement range and replenishment rate. So 5% can move 5% further and we replenish 5%. Obviously one is more important than the other. But enough talking. Let's go ahead and strike the Americans once more. Yes, I get all of them. So I get all my other generals taking part in this. Um, this fight is heavily skewed in our favor. The Americans will get one cavalry unit supporting them. Right. There's nothing for it. Once more, let's slay these Americans and show them. Show that slopper Jack and his friend Perry what Prussian steel is all about. Attack, right. The battle starts. They've got plenty of cavalry. Looks like they're actually advancing on us. We're gonna move forward and since they've got so much cavalry, we should really prepare the flanks already. And actually recall these cannons. Have you move like that. We're gonna put the marines further out there, then we're going to support the flanks because these are the areas where the enemy will try to punch through with their um, cavalry. They're already sending one to try and attack my cannons. Alright. Let's bring in the extra generals, the two cavalry units, And the American cavalry is being sent off before it even got close. Now the center of our line is a little bit thinner. Oh, this one is way too thin to be in the middle. I'm going to bring that one out of line and bring this one in. I don't even know if it's going to be uh, useful to have our uh, artillery come in here. Right, we're already breaking up cavalry coming in on the flanks. There is, though, a massive gap in the center of my lines. I'm going to send forwards the general to each corner to support. in mortal peril, sir. Kind of unnecessary to have a small unit of 12 men in a, can in a cavalry unit. Okay, their cavalry is kind of pulling back. But not everywhere. They are trying to... They were trying to push through there and they did a pretty good job, actually. Of trying to get through. My general actually lost quite a bit of bodyguard here. Pull these back. Let's make sure that we don't lose these guys. Right, the cavalry is gathering way back. What we're gonna do is we're gonna pull slightly back and then I'm gonna fling up the flanks because they've moved their cavalry way back here you 
you don't realize until it's gone the kind of information you pulled from the map. Alright, now we're able to lay superior firepower onto the Americans. I want to bring up the cannons now as well. See if we can add that into the mix of firing down upon the Americans. Their cavalry is... Wait, where did all the cavalry go? Have, have the, has the cavalry retreated and abandoned the army? Move these troops up. Move these troops up. Or am I about to walk into some kind of trap? Where are they? Uh, I'm going to blast their artillery. I don't think we'll have time to... Uh, send anything against the uh, or set up my cannons against the Americans here I can't for the life of me see their cavalry I think they actually or might have ordered them to retreat no wait here's something they're sitting way in the corner of the map and have abandoned the rest of their army the cowardly commander of the American cavalry has abandoned his force and in so doing has doomed his infantry now they move forward they might just try and catch us out of line here or if they're aiming for this flank right over here Possibly. The thing though is, we are prepared. There's no units firing back. So I can move uh, my generals up. They can join the fight over there. We are getting fired upon by these. The enemy cavalry is hiding behind the hill. I'm gonna order the mortar to turn its fire over here. The problem with this is of course now I can't really pursue the American infantry in the same way that one would hope. The squares do not really work that well in Sh Shogun, do they? I need to get over the hill and then we'll put the reinforcement tr troops or the reserves to go there and then you will get in there not the greatest plan to just march straight onto the canister that's being fired upon us over here but um, we don't have a lot of cavalry and uh, the cavalry we do have is um, there isn't much to say left of them I feel as though we could probably shoot the American cannons down with uh, persistence, persistent volleys here Like, we're definitely doing a tons of damage on this one. Alright, the American cavalry is coming at us. Did I order them not to fire at will all of a sudden? Huge mistake. An all out attack by the Americans. However, they've already lost so much. that their cavalry breaks like waves. However, they do inflict quite a bit of damage on us. It's probably the... most of the cavalry units that survive is probably the ones that retreat behind us. The ones in front are gonna get absolutely slaughtered. The enemy cannons were killed off. What remains is one American cannon that has been rolled way up here. 
It's going to be easier, I think, to get that one. I'm going to send out the generals. No, the Americans make it out before us. Right. The battle is basically won. We suffered quite a bit of casualty. It's going to take a while to recover from this. But as it looks like, like right now, we've got all of winter to recover against the enemy. And if they decide to attack during winter, well, their armies will starve and freeze to death. We're going to take out the last cannons. But with that, we've got the second battle against the Americans done and done for. This time around we're looking at a close victory. We lost roughly the same amount of men, but we weren't able to chase down as many as last time around. Because uh, we lost all that cavalry. We're looking at uh, 1300 Americans making it away after the battle. And roughly the same is our losses. So in two battles we've then lost about 2300 men leaving our force at 3,696. Highest kills in this battle goes to Colonial Infantry. At this point, most, if not all, all but one has gained a chevron um, in my army, which is really good. This force dies. Another general gains a chevron. There should not be um, a lot left among the Americans. Which one was it? It was the other one. He is now a three star. 
So he can also get the replenishment. Wonderful. I'll go ahead and end the Americans. Once that is done, then I think this episode will be over. Looks as though in between episodes I will be conducting siege defenses down here. And then as well some kind of defense against these guys up here. But for the next episode, we might find ourselves at spring in 1859 instead of uh, autumn 1858 like it is right now. We might find ourselves in spring. Or if I'm bold, I'll go ahead and attack during winter, but I doubt it. Or if maybe this, I don't know, some kind of interesting uh, uh, defensive scheme that is put up during winter. But otherwise, we're like two turns away from winter, so I doubt there will be any, uh, any major fighting after this. But with that said, I'll end it off here by, by going ahead and ending these guys. You know what? This is kind of an outer resolve, isn't it? I doubt we'll lose any troops in the process of this, and we do lose one unit. Uh, and the cavalry unit, right, n n don't outer assault. We lost 300 men, and obviously it was uh, decided that two units were taken out. But all the Americans are gone, and I mean, I'm not going to sit there more on the loss of one colonial infantry. Very good stats all around now. All three generals are at three stars. And uh, it looks as though the worst of the enemy's attacks are done. And we should be able now to focus on our counterattacks. I do need to recruit another geisha to um, send her down to figure out what's going on in North Shinano. I want to know if Americans are coming at us. Because Americans laying siege is a completely different beast than um, the uh, native Japanese armies laying siege. Right. With that said, though, I'll say as I always say. Hopefully you guys enjoy this. And hopefully I'll see you guys for the next one. Bye.